had Jesse for about two to three weeks here. You'll see as he's moving forward, he's tender on his front feet because he's just been trimmed. His hooves had been neglected for a number of months. So I'm using the flag here to apply pressure to Jesse, and that varies moment by moment depending on how he's working off that, responding to that pressure, and what I'm looking for. Right there, I was looking for him to turn his hind end away from me, face me, and come to a halt. And I'm uh, wanting him to move the outside hind across the inside hind, and then face me. I would want to do this with a longer and longer rope attached. Other times I'm asking him to increase his pace or decrease his pace going from a walk to a trot or a trot back to a walk. And here I'm also looking for him, can he lower that head and relax more like he just did. I don't need to apply any pressure as long as he's doing what I'm asking him to do. So having had this horse only for a few weeks, I'm really impressed with his ability to learn stay connected. We're just beginning to build a relationship and a line of communication and he's not flighty or really reactive too much. He does get reactive at times but in this session I think he did a really great job and I'm very impressed. So I'm just going to keep working with him and as you watch this video I hope you'll see as he changes and becomes more comfortable and understands more of what I'm asking for, he does it quicker and stays relaxed or becomes more relaxed and we progress in a very, very nice manner. Here you can see Jesse's showing that he's tender on his front feet. Watch here, I use the flag to apply pressure and Jesse wants to turn into me and face me. That's not what I'm asking. So I've asked him to go on because that was not the correct answer, not making him wrong, but wanting him to continue and search for a, another answer. I'm going to back up and I'm asking him to come with me, to turn into me and face me as I back up. That's going to lead into change of directions. Here I am just confirming with the trainer that I work with, getting a little bit of advice and then we're going to take that advice and refine what we're doing here. So now I'm going to ask Jesse to turn, come towards me by moving backwards, and then I'm going to ask him to continue on through and change directions. So I back up and I'm going to step in towards him and create pressure and ask him to go the other way. And we can do that also at the trot and at the canter. As I'm always looking to set Jesse or any of my horses up for success. I'm not asking him to go fast here. What I'm asking him for is just to follow a feel and to respond to pressure. Jesse is very unconfident at this point of his training, and so if he can stay in this calm, relaxed learning mode, we're going to build a better, faster relationship than if he gets all excited and right brain. So my goal here is to put just enough pressure on that he can understand that I'm asking for something and respond to that pressure, and if it's not the right answer, offer me something else until he does. So if you enjoyed this video, if you would click on the like button below, I'd sure appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave those in the section below as well. And I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you want to know when we've got new videos coming up and what we're doing currently, just go ahead and subscribe and you'll be informed if you hit that bell button. It will send you a notification as well. So hope you enjoyed the video. You have a wonderful night.